Hello my jewels, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Cindy J here and today I am going to be showing you guys movies that you can watch on Disney Plus and Netflix and just some movies that maybe you want to buy or I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to be telling you guys and describing the movies. But with a twist, I'm not only just, you know, telling you guys what movies to watch, but also I'm going to get I'm going to oh my God. I'm going to show you guys outfits from each movie at least like one outfit this was really hard and i hope you guys enjoy by the way this video is also a collab with my friends the glory girls and they are just three sisters who make really hilarious content on youtube and they're some of my really close friends so go check out their channel and subscribe to them and also go watch their video it's linked in the description below follow me on instagram at sydney j and follow me on Pinterest because I'm literally on there 24 7 I don't really use snapchat unless it's for my close friends so don't want y'all seeing that but anyways <laughs> <sighs> sorry I'm like out of breath because it's so hot in here but yeah that's my dresser um it's yes there is a blanket on it because my dress is just weird looking I filmed so many videos with it and I just it looks really gross so I thought this background would look very aesthetic because uh, well kind of uh, so yeah, I'm not showing my face in this, so I hope you guys enjoy the outfits. I just, I don't know. I feel like these movies, everyone knows, but on Netflix, you guys are probably never going to hear of any of them, so let's just get into this video. Mary Poppins, literally one of the most iconic movies of all time. This movie is about um, a family who gets a new nanny who isn't your average nanny. It's Mary freaking Poppins who can fly out of the sky. Yep. And I'm going to be recreating one of her outfits today. Well, not recreating because, well, mainly it's not. Anyways, um... <laughs> Okay, for this outfit, I really wanted to make this look like a 1960s, just kind of like housewife a little bit. And I didn't really have a coat just like Mary Poppins. So this jacket is actually from Tommy Hilfiger X Zendaya, like that collection. And I love this jacket and I don't really wear it that much, but I love it and I'm going to use it way more for videos. Okay. The next movie is The Sound of Music. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen this movie in literally like a decade, so I don't really remember the plot of this, but it's really good from my five-year-old memory, and I wanted to create this blue and navy outfit, so here you go. Okay, so for this outfit, I basically wore the back of a dress. Um, this dress was from Old Navy and it was very painful to wear like this, so you're welcome. And this black square neck blouse from Kanan, yeah, I was wearing the back of a dress, but um, yeah, this, I felt like I really killed it, so yeah. <laughs> the Incredibles, literally one of the most iconic Disney animated films of all time um in today's video i'm going to be kind of making an outfit that i think violet would wear and i'm not really recreating an outfit because i don't have any of the stuff so everyone tell me i'm crazy picking up a boy that drives a camera so for this outfit i am basically just kind of wearing an 80s version of what i feel like violet would wear um this sweater i thrifted a while back and I got these jeans from Urban Outfitters it's just like their girlfriend jeans I don't know if they still have them because they were on sale when I got them but yeah I feel like this look is just so her because she was very simple and she never really liked to mess too much with like patterns and colors and stuff so. and you're too Okay, so 10 Things I Hate About You is the next movie. It is about two sisters who um, one is allowed to date if the other one can and the other one is really mean. So, but she does end up dating someone. 
and I am going to be creating my own type of outfit that I feel like will be inspired. I was a terrorist since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting class. One of my favorite scenes from this movie is the party scene where Kat is dancing on the table and she's dancing to Biggie, which I'm playing in the background right now. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> but this outfit was really fun to wear. The jacket is from Forever 21, the tops from Cotton On, and the pants are from Brandy Melville. We don't support that though, but it's fine. Another Disney movie to watch is Frozen. Frozen is literally just one of the most popular Disney animated movies right now. Um, the character who I'm going to be dressing like is Anna and I th honestly think this is the best one that I did because it's the most accurate so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so for this outfit, I honestly did really, really well. I think it's really close to Anna's a little bit. So the purple like shirt that I'm wearing on top was thrifted. The black tank top is from Forever 21. The blue shirt I stole from my mom. Hi mom, if you're watching this. And then the blue skirt is from H&M. Yes. I'm problematic and it's fine. Can't Hardly Wait is the perfect 90s movie if you're a high school senior or you're going to be a high school senior or you have been a high school senior because this is just about a bunch of high school seniors who just graduated. I'm going to be recreating Denise's outfit right here. I feel like for this outfit, it really conveys Denise because she's very emo grunge and super 90s at the same time. So this top um, was actually thrifted and then this, I'm just wearing the same black Forever 21 tank top underneath and then some Brandy Melville navy cargo pants. I feel like this is the super grunge 90s look that probably wouldn't have made sense, but it did. One day is about two acquaintances who after their college graduation, they meet one day every single year and catch up with each other. I'm going to be recreating Emma's outfit right here and let's go. <laughs> I think for this outfit, I probably got the most correct too, other than Anna from Frozen because, I mean, I've watched this movie so many times and I feel like every girl has like that white dress, denim jacket, and like some cute combat boots. So this denim jacket is from Marshalls. I thrifted the white jacket, I mean the white dress, but you can literally find that anywhere still, probably Forever 21. And those boots are also from Marshalls. I really love this outfit and I feel like I'm still going to wear this in the summertime. So, yeah. The Perks of Being a Wallflower is probably one of the best teenage movies, in my opinion. And it really shows um, the side effects of mental health in high school. I'm going to be recreating Sam's outfit right here and the red right here and let's do it. I feel like in this outfit it's a little bit more preppier um, than Sam would have worn but I think I got the outfit okay. So this red polo I thrifted, are we surprised, hello, and this skirt is from H&M and yeah, I think that Sam is probably one of my favorite like teen movie characters and this outfit was really iconic in the movie, so yeah. Our last movie is Candy Jar. This movie um, is about two high school seniors who are debate students and they are always going head to head when really they never really focused on being teenagers. Um, we're going to be recreating her outfit right here and yeah, let's do it. <music> In 
In this movie, Lana, the main female character, really is witty and really smart, but she's also really innocent, and um, this outfit really shows that. So I'm having this really like mature, feminine cardigan from Brandy Melville, which I really love, and then I have these vintage overalls from the first store, which I thrifted, lol, and I feel like to tie it all together with the grunge look that she always wears, I'm wearing some Marshalls combat boots. And that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah, if you guys want me to do more like this, please comment down below, like this video and subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!